Fun fact about the vaginal canal. The vaginal canal is typically at rest when you are not stimulated between two and four inches long. As you become aroused, your vaginal canal stretches out and can be upwards to 10 plus inches long. Pretty fucking fascinating. It's really incredible. So this is how we start experiencing these different types of erogenous zones within the vaginal canal. So the key to finding these next erogenous zones is that you have to be fully aroused in order for this to happen. So you won't feel this typically happen the first five minutes of penetration. It could be 10, 15 minutes. So the A spot orgasm, which is called the interior fornix orgasm, which is found in the interior fornix erogenous zone, say that 10 times fast. This is located within three to six inches within the vaginal canal. Some people say you can actually also stimulate it anally, like when you were having anal sex, you actually hit up against your um, anterior fornix erogenous zone. So sometimes you can actually stimulate the zone anally as well as vaginally. And with this type of stimulation, it's against the front end of the vaginal wall. So when you read about it, they say the best way to stimulate it, once again, like this is a fucking easier said than done, is to stick your fingers in front of you and kind of do a windshield wiper motion with your fingers. If you're using a toy, it is just about deeper penetration and possibly just like shifting the toy a little bit from side to side or in and out depending on what type of stimulation you like. Um, this is why thrusting vibrators and rabbit, not, yeah, thrusting and rotating rabbit vibrators tend to be popular because they tend to hit these spots without having to constantly pull it in and out of you. But yeah, that's the interior fornix erogenous zone.